Hi Tay, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So Tay, tell us about yourself. Um, I am Tay Matthew. I'm 12 years old. I'm 13 on June 12th and I live in North London. Some of like, the interests I have are acting, singing and dancing. I'm starting out drawing and like animating and I'm in the midst of learning how to skate, play the piano and guitar. I can do gymnastics to a certain extent and I can cycle. I'm also uh, trying to learn how to play volleyball and football, which is kind of scary, I guess, but yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so you are in the hit TV show, um, Gangs of London. Tell us about that experience. Um, it's probably one of the coolest things I've ever filmed. Not just because of the guns and explosions and them rebuilding the set in front of me, but because of the cast too. They were really friendly and welcoming and made me feel like I wasn't the only child on the set most of the time. And the producers and directors were like really experienced, I guess, in the way that they made me feel like I've done this a thousand times over. And I really thank them for that. Um, when Goal first came out, not a lot like changed in my personal life because I didn't really like to tell a lot of people from school, because I didn't want everyone in the school to know I was like an actor. But like outside of school and my own interests, it felt like the biggest accomplishment ever. I felt like I could take on the world. And, like, yeah. Yeah, well, that's really cool. Congratulations on your part. Thanks. So you're a triple threat. You sing, dance, and act. Who do you look up to and admire? Well, my, I look up to a few different people. I would say the main person is my mum because without her, I wouldn't be able to do all three of those. Like she's the one who encouraged me to do it. And she's the one who takes me to do it. I go to a dance class, I have a singing class and an acting class. And like without them, I don't feel I would be like, who I am today, I guess. But aside from just my mum, uh, I have like different idols for like each kind of skill. So for singing, it would probably be Stormzy, just because, you know, he went from like doing like being like, I wouldn't say nothing, but he didn't have like a lot of fame to being able to have concerts in the O2 with people like screaming the roof off. Um, for acting, probably Daniel Kaluuya, because he's just, I don't actually know a lot about him that much, but my family are always talking about him. And it just seems he's made like a big I don't know, impact on acting. And for dancing, probably Beyonce, because I know, I know she's not really a dancer, but like in um, a lot of her music videos, she's singing and dancing at the same time and that's like kind of really impressive because singing makes you like tired and out of breath and so does dancing so it's like really impressive to be able to do both at the same time and go through multiple songs doing that yeah so have you received any good advice from a co-star or a director um yeah when i was filming Gangs of London. A lot of the time when the scene had ended, I would like instantly snap out of character. It could be a sad scene and I would be like down when they were actually filming. And then as soon as they said cut, I would just like be beaming with joy or something. And uh, the cameraman actually told me that most of the time when they like end the scene, uh, the camera's still like rolling. So they can also take like snippets of you just sitting there and like use it in the, in, like the actual show. Like, so it's better to stay in character. Although that's kind of like telling me off <laughs> not staying in character the whole time. It also really helped me to like 
you know, stay in character and like just they need the better. Yeah. yeah, that's really good advice. What would be your dream project? Probably a Marvel film. I mean, like the acknowledgement and recognition that you would get from it is like huge and it would allow me to do like a lot more projects like that. And it's kind of something I've just always wanted to see what it was like behind the scenes. Like when you're watching a film, you don't normally think about it. But with Marvel, the way they use like CGI and stuff, I just find it really cool and it's something I want to do. And if not a Marvel film, probably like a, an animation, I guess, for like voice acting. Because it's not like my biggest, biggest dream, but like I feel like I'm able to put myself into a character's shoes like really easily. Yeah, that would be cool. So what are you watching these days? Uh, right now I'm watching a lot of anime, but that's not very important. I'm starting to watch a lot more you know, real life things like um, Cobra Kai. Uh, I'm not okay with this. Yeah. All of Us Are Dead, Moon Knight and stuff. Uh, they're like really interesting. I watch a varied amount of shows. Some of them are like comedy, action, like horror, like pretty much anything. As long as it can like keep me entertained, I really yeah. enjoy it. Yeah. yeah, I like Cobra Kai as well. <laughs> so thank you for talking to me today for Cinema Stars. Bye. Thank you.